Hello everyone. Welcome back to Tech Bytes with Keshav. In this video, we will discuss about benefits of using try with resources feature right against earlier what we used to do try cache and then we used to have finally block. Okay. So to start with, I would say when uh, when we uh, are interested to work with uh, files, streams, sockets, or database connections, or this uh, HTTP clients, we uh, usually open uh, connection and then we use uh, usually close the connection, right or streams, and same for files and HTTP also. So now earlier traditional approach over there was like uh, using like we discussed try with cache block was there and then finally where we would be writing close uh, using close method of all these objects so to close this open connections but over here it would be like two problems would be arising one it's first one is that memory leakage problem can happen in this Let's say if there is an exception while closing a resource or some, uh, something like that or before that closing a resource, some exception, then that would uh, then that prop, uh, object will not be properly closed and then that will lead to memory leakage problem. Secondly, for every open connection, we have to manually close that connection. That is also, I believe uh, as a coder, should, uh, we should uh, considering separation of concern, so we should that boilerplate code should uh, we should not worry much about that and uh, still we have one uh, in earlier versions we uh, needed to write it manually right so now we can avoid these two problems with using try with the resources and this feature was introduced in java 7 actually okay so uh, i think now we should uh, deep dive into it so as per our last example, we have seen calling uh, employee employees using various other methods uh, for JSON based response, for XML based response, using JSON, using Jackson for parsing response, various topics we discuss. And then, then we, uh, as part of this, we will now see this code snippet is already ready. So I will try to explain it to you. The syntax for try with resources earlier what we used to have we used to have something like this it is try right and then followed by a cache block right and then followed by a final finally block so i will try to explain in a different method so let us say We have a function named f1 try catch then finally so here as part of this we will be earlier we used to open resources like connections database connections and streams files and http uh, client all over we used to open over here and then exception part is this and then in case of anything uh, close closure part we used to put over here right but now as part of try with resources we can use this syntax like try then opening bracket then the thing that we want to put over here for auto closure we can put it over here like this now this will be available this variable response will be available throughout this strike block right and over here we can uh, include more than one objects also that we want to uh, test it against that try, try catch and then with that for which we want to make it auto uh, closure closable right so i have i as demonstrated i have put it over for this response object 
as part of tribe resources and second response body also now both of these will lose its scope the moment the scope is uh, has gone out of this tribe block right after once this coming out of this tribe block both will lose scope they will memory allocated that will be lost deallocated right so this is the way we we can go for try with closure now try with uh, try with uh, resources over here we can implement or we can put only those objects over here those which have implemented interface auto closable okay so like we discussed about files connections database connections streams and then over here uh, i am emphasizing over for http response although okay http response i would say uh, will itself will not uh, implement auto closable but it resources like i would say response and response body both of these they implement auto closable that's why we were able to add those as part of this try with resources so if we see over here this response this response object class it is implementing closable closable is further extended from auto closable right so same way it will happen for response body also closable it's closable and then we have auto closable okay so now that we have put two objects under this and we we can say that we can put as many objects over here now while deallocating memory the process will be uh, deallocation process will be in reverse order so first this this will uh, this will uh, lose its memory right the memory to this this object will be uh, deallocated then this reverse order right so to void so in uh, so till now we discuss about benefits of using try with resources that will uh, also make a code more readable also and then we can say that the major advantage over here would be memory leak problem so now we in any scenario i believe it will automatically take care that it has to release the resource or close the connection for the open connections right in even in case of exceptions also so definitely for these kind of things which are, which is the objects which are implementing auto closable right so we should definitely put the, them into as part use them as part of try with resources and and as part of uh, i think we should not uh, go for that approach also in a way that uh, uh, making a finally block and then adding manually adding that close methods and things like that so i think we have a better uh, feature so we should definitely use that right I think that was all for this short video. So if you guys have any queries, so you can please post a comment. Right? So you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. Till then, stay connected and yeah, thank you for watching this video.